Hello, my name is Matt Mankin, and I am the CEO of American English Consultant Services. In this video, I am addressing the adult English as a second language student. And the topic that I'm going to discuss today is about taking shortcuts in your education. So first of all, let's talk about what a shortcut means. A shortcut is defined as an accelerated way of achieving something. It sounds really positive, right? But the problem is, is that the students who choose to do this usually use it in a way that negatively affects their education. I have several examples of that. Anybody that knows anything about adult education, especially English as a second language students, know that the core skills that they are taught in the program is essential to mastering before they go into a college or a university to compete with native speakers. So for instance, those core skills are usually reading, writing, listening, and speaking. So I teach writing and reading, so I'm going to use those as a reference. So for writing, I have your typical student. There'll be the students that work hard and do their best, There'll be students who don't know enough and are there for obviously good reasons and they're working hard. And then there's those students that they could work harder, but don't work harder and they choose to do just enough to pass the class. Those are the student, the type of students I'm addressing in this video. And why is that a possible problem? Well, you can have your own summations about what might be, you know, as a result of that, but I'm going to give you some professor type outlook based off of that. So a student who chooses to neglect their key core studies will have huge problems when they have to compete with native speakers in order to be able to learn at a higher educational level in our higher educational institutions. So for instance, if a student messes a lot of their writing and doesn't do well to write professionally or prepare themselves to write in a more professional way, they can slip through the cracks, but they will always be returned to do what they have to do or they will fail in the career that they choose. Now I have a rather unique situation. When I do teach at the university as an adjunct. They always have a lot of students that are looking to make it in the professional world of engineering, whether it's electrical, mechanical, um, all different kinds. Now, what students forget is, especially international students, is their target idea in their mind is, I'm going to be an engineer, I'm going to be an engineer, and they don't think about how that skill, that core skill in English is going to really be challenged expecting that when they graduate that they have learned all those core skills through their intensive English program and through what the university core requirements are before they actually get into their uh, the classes in the field of their expertise. And what usually happens to those students is they don't really think of the kind of work they have to produce in their professional field is as a means of communication and I'm talking about speaking and writing skills primarily. I have spoken to many professional engineering institutions and they tell me one of the biggest problems they have with both native speakers and international students is the lack of solid written and spoken communication skills. So you can kind of see where this is going. You have a, a student who goes through, doesn't take their writing seriously, but manages to pass the intensive English program. 
goes and starts taking the core writing skills in the American institutions, maybe still does the same thing, focuses all their energy on their engineering skills, does great with their math, but then they have to write a professional proposal to explain the engineering design or whatever it is they need, and then panic sets in. Now, they've been told, they've been warned several times by several professionals, you have to do this, this or that, but there are always those people that manage to slip through the cracks. And what ends up happening is they have two choices in their life. They can say, well, you know, I'm gonna hire somebody to do my writing for me. And, or they can swallow their pride, go back to the intensive English program or what institution is going to be able to help them take their writing skills and realize they need to take it more seriously and actually do it. And then go back to their core education and become more successful. I have seen many graduate level students or other students who get through the program real successful with what they know how to do, but cannot write to save their life. And that's a problem because not projecting into your future and not finding out enough about the career that you want to have and what kind of skills you have to learn, especially basic, strong communication skills you have to have, is going to set you up for failure. So the advice in this video is very simple. When you study in an intensive English program, take every skill level and try to become the best expert you can and take it seriously because if you do not project ahead in your future, you're either going to have to go backwards in your studies or you're going to have a tremendous struggle and maybe not make it through an engineering career. Even if you graduate and just happen to, to make it, you still have to be able to write proposals and you have to be able to present that proposal in a spoken method that is both professional and clear and academic of all things. So just consider this. My professor, professor's advice today to you is to consider not taking shortcuts in your education and learning your skills in the proper way that the institutions want you to so that you will be a successful adult in your later life. That's it. Solid advice from me to you. Have a great day. And if you are interested in some of the other material I have, please go to my Facebook page. And uh, you're also free to visit my website if you're interested in some of the things that we do uh, for adult ESL students. See you later. Bye.